Today, my friends, I am leaving the beautiful Czech Republic and heading to London for my first time. The land of the royal family and land of the double-decker buses that we all hear about in Legends. I'm not sure what to expect. Are all the men gentlemen and wear top hats and have really, really bad teeth? Do they all bathe in the Thames River? These questions I have to know. I can be certain that everybody has a Spice Girls poster in their house. That is for sure. But hopefully on this trip we can see some of the sights and taste some awesome London food. Let's go, friends. I just got off the bus, so this is where our story begins. We are going to London, guys. Woo! I'm super excited. I haven't really spoke proper English in like one year, so I am very excited to talk to my English friends and, you know, make some jokes that people are going to get. It's going to be awesome. So come on, let's go. I got here pretty early, so I thought I better have a couple of beers um, to make the trip go a little bit faster. Enjoy the beer, loser! It'll cost ya! I just want to chat about my experience with Ryanair so far. I missed check-in by one minute and I had to pay 1,650 check crowns. I'll put a conversion down here. A couple of beers, a couple of beers, a couple of beers. Dude, that was an expensive couple of beers. I could keep complaining, but we wouldn't get anywhere if that was going to happen. So let's get on this plane and let's go check out London. Right here. Oh my god, it's a double decker bus! Yeah, you sound like an idiot, mate. It's just the red bus. Well, anyways, this completes this part of the vlog because the rest is a bit hazy. Hello, guys. Me and Marco are going out for a full English breakfast, which is meant to be a staple in any British home. Or, well, I assume, anyways. So let's go check it out. story about the English breakfast, it should contain eggs, hash browns, baked beans, sausage, black pudding, bread, and some shady brown tea. So the thing about black pudding that I don't like is, it's made from pig's blood, which is kind of a weird ingredient, but I had to try it. Today I'm going to try black pudding. I'm in London for the weekend, so we're going to try some London food. Wow. Amazing. Give it a 10 out of 10 for sure. Just went here for breakfast. It was absolutely packed and it's not a uh, it's not a place you want to go have breakfast and relax. But it was really delicious. Had my first full English breakfast. So that was nice. And now we're gonna and now I'm full. <laughs> As an English person. You're full English. <laughs> That's where we got a name from. We get it from the breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're gonna go to uh, Buckingham Palace. So this way. <laughs> Maybe this way. This way. <laughs>
pulled up. Who in the world are these guys? And where are they going? And where are the red guys with the microphone hats? What's going on here? It's plain to see I definitely have a few questions for the queen. I had to think of a way to get her attention. And I was thinking, hmm, maybe I could just go to the door. Yeah, that's a good idea. There's a little flag up. The royal standard used in England, Northern Ireland, Wales, Crown Dependencies, and the British Overseas Territories. There you go, guys. I've read it for you. It's done. Top here, which means the queen is home. So we're going to have a little knock on the door. See if we can get in. Yeah, the queen must just get this all the time. If I just knock here and wait, we'll see if someone comes up. Oh, look out. There we go. Oh, it's my boy, Prince Charles. Look out. Excuse me, can I see the queen? She's not in today. Okay, no problem. This is the face of defeat. I don't think I'll ever find the queen ever again. Our mission is over. We should just go home. Ooh, a red bus. Let's go check out what London has to offer. really crazy walking in this town there's people absolutely everywhere kind of overwhelming but it's nice to be somewhere different for once and through the thickness of people i couldn't believe my eyes i had just found the person i was looking for well i had just found her house at least guys i've actually found out where the queen lives um she's just here in the queen's house I can't believe we're here, Marco. So it turns out the queen doesn't live here. It's actually just a Turkish restaurant impersonating the queen's house. How can they get away with such treachery? I must find the queen's friends. And I met a couple on the journey, but none of them wanted to disclose where she lived. I think maybe I've hit a dead end here, guys. Uh, yeah, that's King Louis VIII when he came to Sydney, Australia. Friends, that is me for today. We are done. But this is only part one of my trip to London, so stay tuned for part two, and uh, we will be back next week. Hope you had a good Christmas and New Year's, because I did. I put on like five kilos. It was awesome. See you then. Ciao.